These last few months have been the craziest months of my life. I got pneumonia, Jonathan got brain surgery, I was on a billboard in Times Square. So many things have happened, we've got a lot to cover in this video, so let's just get right into it. Women's Best actually did a huge trip with a bunch of their athletes to New York City. I was actually supposed to be on that trip to celebrate their partnering with Vitamin Shop, which is crazy exciting news, but I couldn't go for reasons that I will say in this video and it's also kind of the reasons I've been not as active on YouTube. I mean, I've been trying but not as active as I wanted to be. But let's start with some good news. I was actually on a billboard in New York City in Times Square which is just insane. Like, never did I think I would be on a freaking billboard. Like, what the hell? That's my face up there! Like, what even is life? So you can actually now find Women's Best Supplements in 750 vitamin shop locations all around the US. Do you know what that means? No waiting for it shipped to you. You don't have to pay shipping costs. You can just get it right then and there. You can see the products in person. You can touch them. You can feel them. Walk into your local vitamin shop and stock up on your goodies. And you might even see a picture of me up there. You can go ahead and tag me on your story. Send me a DM. Take a selfie with me. Um, I would love to see it all. And they are doing a special sale right now in Vitamin Shop. You can buy one Woman's Best product and get the other one 50% off. And they are running out of stock. I actually went to my local Vitamin Shop and I checked it out for myself. The manager actually told me that they're selling out so quick and that's why they have so little left. And I'm just so proud, you know, because these are my people. I'm just so proud of you. Want to scoop yours up in Vitamin Shop? You better hurry up, girl, because as you can see, it is selling out all right so now let's get into the serious things it's a lot so sit down grab a mug of tea and let's get started jonathan and i both got the flu um, at the end of november beginning of december jonathan recovered from his flu and mine actually ended up turning into pneumonia so i was out for the whole month of december literally my favorite time of year with the holidays christmas new year's i couldn't even enjoy it to the fullest do any of my christmas activities because i was literally Dying. I even went to the hospital. It was really bad because it wasn't like really responding to the antibiotics or whatever But thankfully I am good now still coughing here and there, but I'm good Then earlier this month we ended up going to the emergency room for Jonathan There's just still so much we don't know and it's super frustrating, but hey, that's medicine. That's life Towards the end of January. He was feeling super duper dizzy so we went to the emergency room. They actually, you know, checked him in and did a head scan and everything. And they told us that they found something abnormal in his brain. So at this point, we were like, what the fuck? Like, what does that mean? Is it cancer? Is it a tumor? What the hell is going on? So it was just like a big, confusing, stressful mess. And it was just one test after the other, trying to figure everything out. All right, I'm just going to call him in because the story will be easier to tell with him here. Come over. They did a bunch of exams, like literally did tested. Did a spinal tap where they, they put a syringe in my spine and they drew fluid. They did a ton of other MRIs. MRIs showed several lesions throughout my brain and several through my spine. Lesions are just basically abnormal things in the brain. So it's not really clear what it is. So they did MRIs of his full body trying to figure out what it is. And everything, literally everything kept coming back normal like everything was fine so they were just kind of scratching their heads like um what is this so we were in the hospital for a total of what like two weeks Almost two weeks. we were in there two weeks and i posted about this on my instagram i have a whole instagram story highlight where i showed everything in depth since everything was coming back negative they were basically like well the only option is to open up your brain because that's the only way the issue is in the tissue the only way to really figure out what it is is to open it up and actually get a lesion out and send it to pathology Wait, what? Yeah, it's recording. <laughs> this is better not complain about nothing. Week post op, I think we were discharged because everything was looking good and we were just waiting to hear results and we still didn't get anything. Like they said everything came back negative for parasites. That's one of the main things they thought it was. It was a parasite that was negative. Everything was negative. They so we were like cancer, tumor, either between MS, multiple sclerosis, or ADEM. Yeah. A D E M. Yeah, ADEM is basically kind of like a. Um, it's also an autoimmune thing because MS is an autoimmune disease, but uh, ADEM is an autoimmune like reaction to a virus or some kind of thing in your body. And we just had the flu, 
in December. So it could definitely be that. But a virus like the flu is also a trigger for MS. They did check for MS markers in his spinal fluid and that came back negative, but there's a chance he could still have it and there's just no way to know. And ADEM is like super rare. It happens to like eight out of one million people or something. And most of them are kids. So that's why they were like, what the hell? You know, this usually doesn't happen to adults. It could, but not usually. So yeah, we are just as confused as you guys are probably. I think the only way of really knowing if it is a mess is I have more MRIs to do and if there's new lesions, then it probably is a mess. Um, Adam is also pretty scary, you guys. Like there are people that get into comas and they, they never wake up because they get it really bad. So if Jonathan got Adam, like he got away kind of unscathed because he's walking, talking. The only symptom is what? The tingling? Pins and needles? My feet feel numb. Ish. Yeah. Numb, tingly. Mild, yeah. mild symptoms compared to what it could be. Like if you Google it, try not to, but wow, I got so lucky, to be honest. We were trying to stay off Google, but you know that's like impossible. WebMD is like... In the hospital, I did not Google at all. I did. But um, I'm just glad it's not a tumor or something terminal, really. So Be grateful. Every second of life. I know it sounds cliche, but honestly, like... Yeah, nothing like shit hitting the fan to really make you realize what's important in life. Shit hit the fan, oof. Pieces of brain hit the fan. I feel like this is making us like want to live life more than ever before, you know? But we weren't really as conscious of our health. As we are now like now we're really looking into like getting our antioxidants in all of our vitamins in like i mean we were doing that before but not to this extent like now it's really a priority because i guess it makes you realize that health is so so precious it's so precious yeah and we take it for granted every day like a lot of people feel like mm -hmm. they are entitled to a super healthy life and a super healthy and able body and you're not like literally something can happen to you at any moment to take away the things you take for granted every day and we all walk around thinking we're invincible and we're not so yeah guys that is pretty much where we're at right now we are still limbo we still don't know what it is for sure and we can definitely give you guys updates they are sending the sample to mayo clinic so hopefully there they find something but from what i've read and what the doctor said things like ms and atum can't be it can't be seen in a pathological sample it's just something that you have to do like differential diagnosis and eliminate everything else um yeah it's a whole complicated world but i will be giving more updates on instagram so make sure you follow on the gram mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he punched me a few days after leaving oh the hospital oh my god i wrote that so i had the staples in my head and listen everything. if you want to hear about that Look it it's on instagram on the story highlight well there you go uh, don't forget, if you want to shop Women's Best, you can head to your local vitamin shop. Check it out there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, guys.